kick up your bases and have them cut through the mix with character using this free VST plugin. It's the Tone Lib Bass Drive. And I'll also show you another free VST from them that will take it even further a little later in the video. But right now, let's check out Tone Lib Bass Drive. Now this is based on the hardware bass driver from Sansamp. Does it sound the same as that? I don't know. I don't own a Sansamp bass driver, but will this add character and make your bass cut through the mix? Absolutely. It's incredibly easy to dial in your sound with this nice clean user interface. And then you have that graphic display in the background that will show you the input and output levels, which is very nice. You also have the bypass on here and you have an overall output. Now, this controls the overall output for the dry signal and the wet signal. So keep that in mind. If you want to control the wet signal output, you want to use this level right here. It's incredible that this thing is free. Now coming up, I'll show you how I'd probably use this in a mix, but right now I want to show you another free plugin from ToneLib that they just came out with, and it's the ToneLib Tube Warmth, and that's going to also add to our bass sound here. So here's ToneLib Tube Warmth. You can see it's an extremely easy plugin to navigate. You have warmth, drive, and then level at the end here. Plus you have this nice tube graphic that changes when you change the settings. So let's dial in our sound and you can use this either before or after the bass drive. I'm going to use it after right now and we'll see what we can come up with. I don't mind that right there. It kind of smooths things out, makes it sound nice. But let's just see how crazy this thing can get if we go full blast with warmth and drive. That's pretty cool. And you can use this plugin all over your mix. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can just add some nice tube warmth or drive wherever you want in your mix. So now I'll show you how I would approach using this in a mix. Now, what I would do is copy and paste my DI'd bass recording down onto another track, or what I've got going on here is I have it routed into this second track. So you want to create a second track and either copy and paste the audio of your DI'd bass into that second track, or you could route it into another track like I have. And you can see track one is bass DI, that's the recorded, and track two I call bass amp, or sometimes I'll call it bass character, whatever. I want to call it. And right now I have bass DI turned all the way down. So all we're hearing is the bass drive. And what we want to do is I'll turn bass DI up and I've added a parametric EQ on there. So this is a free EQ. It's called Nova TDR Nova. You can download it free or use any parametric EQ you might already have. Your DAW likely comes with one. The one I use all the time is the Renaissance EQ, but for this, I'll use the free TDR Nova. And it's extremely easy to do what I'm about to do here. So on the base DI track, we have Nova here. And when you load this up, all of these will be enabled. You can just disable all of them if you like, and then enable the high pass filter here. It'll be off by default. And I usually go with 65 Hertz and then I'll slope it with about 12 decibel octaves like this. And then I'll enable the low pass filter and I'll set it to 250 Hertz. And again, about 12 decibel octaves. So it looks like there's a sad face in there and that's what we want it to look like. So let's just listen to what we've got so far.
This is just the bass DI that you're hearing right now. All bass in that, no real top end in there. It's just going to be our low end stuff. So now let's add Nova onto our bass character track. And you can see what I've done here is I've enabled the high pass filter and I've set it to 250 Hertz with the 12 decibel octave roll off there. So it's picking up where the other one leaves off and it's going to give us all our kind of character to our bass sound. So we'll still have a nice clean bottom end with that DI, but we're going to have this character bass here. So now what we want to do is just kind of mix to taste. Once you have it mixed the way you like the bass and the character in there, we can start adding it to our mix. Now this is a rough mix, but I'm going to unsolo that and we'll hear what it sounds like in the mix. And you can see I have both of the DI and the character bass going into a bass bus so I can adjust the overall volume of both together. And I could also add compression in here if I want and more EQ, whatever other plugins I might want to add on there, I could do that. But you can hear you have that nice low end from the DI bass and then you have that character sound from the character amp or whatever you want to call it, the second bass track. It's a great way to mix your bass guitars or even your bass synths. You can try that out. Now, check out one of the best free delay plugins and five more free VSTs by clicking the video on the screen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating, and we'll talk soon.